What's up everybody, my name is Marty Moose and welcome back to a uh, Minecraft video inside of Marty's Marvelous World. And this is another update review, but we're not going to be reviewing anything, we're not going to be building, we're not going to be playing, even though I have been building in my new games in my Funland. But, we are going to go on a hunt for the Woodland man Mansion, and this is something that has been brought over to Minecraft since November on the 1.11 update on PC, and I absolutely love this. I mean, like, I know, like, how, um, how the update, like, like, it was, like, um, in May 31st, it was, like, when they added these shulker boxes, I was, like, awesome, cool, but then they brought over new mobs, new stuff, new redstone, and lots of, lots of stuff. Uh, it's really cool. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you some of the new features, and then we're going to be heading over to find the Wooden Mansion. But first, I want to introduce you to a few of my new pets. But I want you to meet Kiki. This is my parrot. Um, leave a like, not like, but um, leave a comment down below if you think this little guy is cute. I mean, like, I just found, I don't know, if, uh, I just, I went exploring for one. I found this one in, um, a jungle. And, yeah, it says they spawn in jungles. But, yeah, you can tame them with seeds. Um, you can make disco ones. Um, but, yeah, and I also want you to meet my llama. Uh, I don't know what to name this llama. I might get a name. Um, how about this? Um... Everyone who's watching now, leave a name in the comments below, and whatever I choose is the best one will be, um, I'll name it on this, um, on my llama. But yeah, um, the sad thing about parrots is that when you give, when you try and get a cookie, I got a carrot, when you get a cookie to a parrot, I'll die, and if I get a cookie, I'm gonna have to eat it. But yeah, um, I set up this thing right here, Pumpkin Plays is gonna be my other channel. But it's filled with lots of food, which means, so whatever food I get, I have to eat it once. I have like a cake, some different pies, and just a case. Um, yeah, that's just about it. Um, also, I'm going to be adding someone to Rainbow Central. So let's go do that. SB737 also inspired me, same as Stampy, um, to make this world. I really do love making videos, even though I don't even make any. Because, yeah, I don't, I keep forgetting to make some of these. But yeah, I want to say thank you and welcome to Rainbow Central, where everyone is colorful. You always need a bright personality, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> and this is one of the new, um, um, the new villagers. There are basically two new villagers. One is the Nitwit, I think, is like the green one. It doesn't really do anything, it's just a cool looking villager. Um, and this one is the Cartographer, which sells like the, um, maps for the Woodland Mansion. And I got two in here. Um, I try to set them up, but the problem is, I mean, I don't know. Let me have a look at the Ocean Monument one. Like, I have some over here. So let me go put this back in there. Um, I have a big map over here, and I won't be taking a dog, I won't be taking anyone today, though. But if you can have a look at this, I just made a long, tin, long thin, um, plant area, and I might be doing the, um, ocean monument later in this video, but the woodland mansion is too close, well, when I found it, at, when I went to that spot, um, it basically didn't show up. I think it was, like, near water. Or it was just made, um, because it was, because it was before my world, it didn't show up. So what we're going to be doing is heading into a brand new world, a brand new, um, regular world, and we're going to be doing that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be saying goodbye to my horses, my new, la my new llama, and, um, parrot. Um, my dogs as well. So, goodbye everyone, we are going to be heading into a brand new world where um uh, we are going to be um, featuring some of the new items and stuff 
So I did say this wasn't going to be a review, but I'm going to be reviewing this in a new world because I not, can't review much of the stuff. Also, I did finish the DVD store. Forgot about that. But yeah, we are going to be reviewing and doing a exploration at the wood and ocean monuments. There are also seven new achievements as well. Anyway, let's head into a brand new world. We're going to be heading into just a regular plain world. We're going to be showing off the, the new stuff. We're going to be heading, we're going to be heading house privileges on this world. As I, as I know, I've made um, a lot of worlds trying to feature this new area. So let's head into just a regular new world. Let's go put um, house privileges on. Keep inventory on. And let's start this off. Let's just head into a brand new world. It's just a plain area. And here we go. So we are going to be featuring the new objects. Let's begin. So they added the observer block. Uh, I don't know really what it does. Just I don't know what this does though. It is on the PE version. Um. Ben, get dressed. Um, I don't know why they moved cobblestone wall into here though, but yeah. Um, the server block. Um, they added brand new. They added the totem of undying, which I'm gonna be showing you right now. Actually, let's go in. Let's go. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, some of you probably know. You can actually hold this in um the other hand. But if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically gonna save you from death. Basically, it's going to bring you back to life, and yeah, let's go chest it all. Let's get a little bit higher, as you can see. Hello, <laughs> screen. And let's see how this works, and you can see I'm actually brought back to life. And actually, it looks 3D, that's the thing. So let's go back into creative and show some of the new items. They also added um two new um enchantment books. Curse of Binding and the Curse of Vanishing, which is like the um, which is basically like um, like troll enchantments. I don't know why I don't know why they're trolls, but yeah, let's go show you this. We're gonna put the um, the morning's boots. We're gonna put Curse of Binding on here, and then um, uh, I'm gonna go get on a. Item I don't want. I'm just gonna put on gold boots because gold boots are so horrible. Curse of Vanishing. And yeah, let's go first. Let's do the um the Curse of Binding. Let's go put turn um keep inventory off. Let's keep inventory. Let's go turn keep inventory off. Let's go turn. Let's go put this. And what these basic what the Curse of Binding does is I can't take it off. You can't like take it off. You can, I'm doing I'm doing it as hard as I can, but I can't take it off. And we're gonna show you the way to get it off. It's super easy. And yes, let's go die. Let's go back to where we um died. And as you can see, you can get them off. Pretty simple. But as you can see, I'm just gonna um not put. I'm gonna actually put them off for now. And these next one is gonna be curse. Wait, where is it? Where's the um? Um, the gold booties. Where's the gold boots? Keep on my gold boots. Did I just do some? <sighs> Whatever. I have to do it again. But yeah, basically, um, Curse of Vanishing is once you die, they're not, they're gone forever. So if you have it on a sword, if you have it on a sword and you die, you're gonna lose that forever. If you get that on your sword, then you're, it's just gonna be gone forever. So let's go try this again. We'll try this. Let's try this again. I'll go right here. Uh, let's go check all of my stuff. As you can see, I'm gonna pick up all of my stuff. Make sure I get all of my stuff. Um, I can't figure out where. Oh, here's my booties. So as you can see, everything's still there, but my gold boots are like gone forever. So you don't want that. Um, all the enchantment books added. 
Uh, the special feature is that now water can um, put out fire. This water bottle, so it's going to put fire here. And I can now put them up both. I could do that. It's a secret feature in the update. We also added um, colored beds. There is a tro an achievement for dyeing your bed. It's a new selection for crafting. Let me grab that. Um, also, new um, spawn eggs. Got a spawn egg. Actually, hold on. Let's go do that. A spawn egg for zombie villager. A husk. Um, a wither skeleton. A stray. Um, Elder Guardians, a Vulcar, a Vex, and a Vindicator. Um, there's more of it, I just can't fit them in. Para, let's go put these up here. Parrot. Parrot. Um, a Skeleton Horse, a Zombie Horse, and a Llama. Now, they did change the, um, looks for these ones. But I'm gonna summon all the mobs. Some of them are burnt to death. And yeah, so you already guys saw the llama and the parrot. Here's the skeleton horse. Got a baby one here. They look cool though, kind of. Got a zombie horse. Do they? they no, they don't know. Uh, got the llama, baby llama. Zombie villagers. Now, um, you can spawn zombie villagers. Husks. Wither skeletons. Um, strays. I can't. I'm making a video. I can't. I can't. Uh, we got the um. Oh my god. The Vulcan, the Vex. Try to do these a little bit faster. The Vindicator and the Elder Guardian, which is so big. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I'm just showing them. Now, uh, exactly. we're gonna be doing a part two. I have to leave. I'll be doing it later today. But this is just part one, showing off the new mobs. Um, the next part will be showing off the, um, Woodland Mansion. So, yeah, thanks, um, for watching this part one, and I'll see you all later. Peace! Oh, darn it. Peace!